Playing a round of golf with your friends is one of summer's great pleasures. But when you share the course with players of all skill levels, what happens if someone gets hit? Have you ever wondered, am I still liable if I yell four? Reasonably. Seeable. You might think that yelling four protects you from all liability. Or that you're covered under the golf course's insurance. Sometimes you might be right, but other times, it could be you on the hook. Now there's a number of things you should consider, so let's take a look at a few cases. Our first case starts way back in 1922. Like at many other golf courses, the hole was adjacent to a highway. In this case, the course was liable when the golfer teed up and hit a taxi driver passing by. You'll notice today at most courses, a fence or net will be set up where balls commonly miss. In 1933, a golfer was invited to take a shot towards a group. When taking a shot with people in range, the judge stated that a golfer must be scrupulously careful not to hit someone and to show more care and caution than throwing a stone or firing a gun. This is because it's more difficult to control where the golf ball will go. The judge also states that it isn't an excuse to tell a group that you're hitting it towards them. If you play with beginners, don't forget to tell them where you are, otherwise you might share in some of the liability. Just because a shot may be improbable, doesn't make it impossible for a beginner. Of course, there's other hazards to watch out for as well. Just because you've made the shot before, doesn't mean it's a reasonable one a golfer can take. For those who insist, the consequences could be quite costly. Basically, it comes down to a situation that the law calls reasonable foreseeability. When you're about to take your shot, you should be thinking, could I hit them? If somebody is in your line of fire, then give them an extra moment to get out of the way. Shorten your club, or you could come join me on the driving range to sort out that swing.